Hey guys, Unfrequented World, and out to do some metal detecting. I've got two hours. We're gonna do an in-park town. So a friend of mine who watches the channel um, was talking to me and telling me about some of the finds he's found in this park. I know it's been hit pretty hard, but he was also telling me the machines that have hit it, and a Bounty Hunter 1100 was what he was using. He found some old coins and stuff, and they don't go very deep, those Bounty Hunters. So hopefully with the Knox 600, uh, maybe we can score an old silver. Two hours to try, let's get at it. Well, just like the man said, first hole, wheat scent. I don't know the age yet, let's see if we can get a date off of it. But that's a good sign. 1920. Very hard to see. But 1920. Hey, if you can come to a new place and dig a hundred year old coin first hole, I have hope! Look at that. Look at the depth on that. Well, not as old, but down there eight inches. I just measured. So that's definitely deeper than any 1100 can go. And the 120 wheat scent that we just pulled was down there about eight or nine inches as well. Well, three holes, three coins. That's an older one, that's a George. 40s maybe. Down there seven inches. I called it, 1940. And two feet away we got another penny. This one's modern, but that shows me this park, lots of park here, has not been cleaned out. There's another one. That one didn't ring up like a coin. It was only 18, but I thought we'd give it a try. Made in Hong Kong. Well, a nice buckle down there, seven inches, so I don't know. It looks in pretty good shape for the depth. I have no clue. Maybe. I knew it was only a matter of time. Look what I found. Look at that. That has got to be silver. All day long, baby. All day long. How do you like my backdrop here so nobody knows where I am? <laughs> this park has a ton of stuff in it. I can tell just from what I'm digging. There's no way it is even close to being dug out. Tons of signals. And that 1940 dime rang up exactly like all those pennies, 24, 25. So if people are telling you that they're leaving pennies behind and their machine is that good that they can pull out silver, hey, carry on. I'll clean up after you. You can't beat the Knox. I should have known, solid 21. That's an old cap though. That's like 40s. There is something funny in this park. There's some kind of interference and I can't run the Knox in park mode. It's just wee, 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 like crazy interference. 1941, there's another old one. So this is my favorite coin mode, guys. I put it in field one and I just scrim up to 19. And that way I don't get distracted with things that I think, oh, that might be interesting and waste a lot of time. And I'm 95% sure this doesn't miss any coins in this mode and it's fantastic. It's fast. You can't trick it. That's the mode I like to use for coins. Okay, so I just pulled a penny where my toe is right there, but watch this. That's silver. Or the two of those together in a hole. Ah, I was sure that was gonna be silver. Well, there's another old one, 40s. Let's see if we can get a date. 1944, solid 23, but it was so loud that I knew it wasn't a coin. Gold! All right, I lied, it's a gold cap. A squished gold cap. Heavy duty brass fitting. And it's got a, an O-ring inside there, so it's gotta be for some kind of plumbing. 
Well, there's a strange one to pull out of a city park, but I guess wherever they got fill from back in the day, maybe. And that's a shell that I'm not really familiar with. Normar 65 by 55. Not familiar with that shell. So I moved back to where I started and we've got another wheat scent here. I think this is the oldest part of the park. It's a big park, but let's see if we can get a date. 1949. Look at that. Solid 20. A lid. That is that is old. It's a woman sitting down and at the top it says D R E, I think. I don't know what that is, but that is old. That is awesome. It's like a copper alloy of some kind. I lost my toothbrush in the park, so we'll have to clean that when we get home. All right, there it is. Two hours in the heavily hunted park in the city. Only one silver, but I think there's potential here. There's all kinds of potential because any one of these coins could have been a silver. And look at this. I'm going to take this home and clean it up. That'll be the last thing we do. There's more writing down here. I don't know what it says, and I'm not sure what that says. So we'll clean that up and get a picture of that. But a big shout out to Wes K. He knows who he is. Thanks for reminding me about this park. And yeah, I had fun. Two hours.